how's it going? It is me, Megan, and I am back with another video. If you guys are new to my channel, I'm a part-time reseller on Poshmark and a few other platforms, but mostly Poshmark. And here on YouTube, I like to make reseller content. I'll do it sold videos, I'll do unboxings, I'll do all that good stuff. So if that is something you guys are interested in, please make sure to like and subscribe, and that way you'll never miss one of my videos. So, a couple of things. I'm back again from another long break. I do apologize, but things have just been super hectic not in a bad way but just in a busy way you might remember this background i am back in portland now um so if you can hear the fan it's because we are going through a little bit of a heat wave this happens every summer with my videos when i'm in portland i have the fans on so i do have a mic set up um hopefully you can't hear it too loudly the fan but if you can i'm sorry um it's gonna be 90 today tomorrow's gonna be 95 and it's gonna be over 100 all weekend so you need the fan but anyway i am back in portland i was able to hit up the bins so that's what i'm gonna be sharing with you guys today i was gonna say that i'd be back doing what sold sunday videos next sunday and i wanted to be but then i remembered i'm actually leaving again we have my fiance's cousin's wedding it's gonna be in chicago we're gonna spend about four or five days there because that's where his family's from and I've never been there before so they want to show me around but yeah otherwise I've just been in California doing stuff seeing family getting things done and yeah now I'm back I'm glad to be back trying to resell more this week has definitely been better because I've had my full inventory but I definitely have a lot of work to do and it is the summer so sales are still pretty slow so anyway I'm gonna be sharing with you guys what I got the bins I, I got like 28 pounds of stuff <laughs> and um i spent 36.84 i want to say um so not too bad at my bins if you get i think over 24 pounds then it's at the cheapest weight a dollar 29 you sort of have to hit that to get a dollar 29 per pound so yeah i haven't looked through this stuff since i got it yesterday um I've just sort of ignored it. It wasn't the best day, but I did find some good pieces and at least a couple of brands that I haven't found before that I'm excited to try out. But yeah, I don't know. My last few trips to the bins haven't been like amazing. And so it's been a little discouraging. And I think a big reason is because they don't have enough carts for everyone. And so I have to lug around like a 28 pound Ikea bag throughout the store if I want to like shop and pick stuff up. And then you'll see people with carts with like one thing in their cart, not resellers of like large quantities, which is fine. Like I'm not mad that they have a cart, but it's like, I wish there was just enough carts for everyone, especially people who have a lot of stuff and need it. But anyway, so I'm gonna show you guys stuff um, that I just picked up for myself and my fiance, just real quick first. Uh, so these are a pair of American Eagle khakis. These are the new label American Eagle. And they're men's because they have the normal waist length measurements. These are 36, 32, which is technically not my fiance's size. They're a bit big and a bit short, but I thought he can like cut them into shorts or do something. And the American Eagle back seam is different on men's jeans. It looks like that. Then I got this yellow World's Market tank top for myself. And this mustard color has these frills. It's a 2XL, but it's not, it doesn't look that big. And this also, this is a universal thread from Target. I liked it because it had the balloon sleeves. I just needed more like plain blouses for myself. And then this blanket. It's a pretty pastel, like, I don't even know, pa I don't know if you call this paisley or whatever, but I'm just going to keep this for us. And yeah, so now I'll get into what I actually picked up uh, to resell. So I got this Rachel Zoe top, and sometimes, like Rachel Zoe, I wouldn't say does super well for me. Rachel Zoe, Rachel Zoe, I don't know. Um, I think it's expensive. I don't think the resale is very high, but this was in good condition. It has covered buttons and it's a cute pink lace. And I thought I'd try it out. Um, the sleeves are sheer and then there's a lining on the inner body. And then it has like almost like a scalloped lace hem. I picked up this jumpsuit. I again wasn't finding like the best stuff. So I was just trying to find enough stuff to make weight. The cow print 
jumpsuit, wide leg, really oversized. Cow print is pretty trendy right now. And this is actually from ASOS and it's a size six, which is surprising because it is so big. I do okay with ASOS. I think this is a fun, different piece and it's in really good condition, especially for being mostly white. I thought that was cute and fun. And I got these airy sweatpants. I did pretty good with airy. They have really nice loungewear, but it's owned by American Eagle. It's sort of like a more active wear lounge line. And yeah, it has like this lace up front detail. These are really cute. I am tempted to keep them for myself, but I'll probably just sell them. They aren't gonna sell for too much. But I do pretty well um, with a quick flip on American Eagle and Aerie. They're good bread and butter brands for me. Then I got this tank top. Uh, I just really liked the print on it. Very Southwestern acid wash. And then it has this nice open back detail. I don't think I've ever heard of this brand before. Vox Pop Alt is what it looks like to me. Size medium. It's probably just like, not a boutique brand, but like one of those brands that they have at like PacSun or one of those other stores that's like not their main brand, but that's where they sell it. And this is Knox Rose. Knox Rose, I don't know if that's Target or like TJ Maxx. It was a 2XL and it did have this like tie dye print. I did pick up a few things in plus sizes, which is always great. I like to keep those in stock. It's like, new with tags but the tags have been cut off they were trying to sell it at goodwill and it's like has a line through it so i don't know if i'll sell it as new with tags or what probably won't but i'll probably just leave the tags on there to show that you know it has been worn or anything then i got this it's a prana it's a size small and it's just a um, little v-neck tee it's like a faded red color and then it has all this pretty crochet detail in the back I liked it because it had a little bit like more going for it and I do okay with Prana. Again, not too much, but then I got this cute, I picked up a couple of pink things. I saw a few there. I didn't pick it all up. I don't do super well with it. I know some people do. I don't really know what's sought after, but I really liked this shirt. It has sort of like um, a watercolor design. And it says pink on the sleeves it's a size medium but i think this would fit me and i think i'll probably keep it because i think it's pretty cute if not i will sell it again not for crazy amount <laughs> i also picked up some cheaper mall brands this is a forever 21 t but it's in really good condition it has like a motorcycle a motorcycle thing on it and it does have holes in it but they are intentional like they're very like clean cut holes if you can see that so it is intentional i was surprised no one picked this up yeah i still feel like the motorcycle t thing is still pretty in um and this is says it's a 3x uh it would be a very fitted 3x so i mean it's it's big but i don't know if it's that big then i got this shirt and i honestly probably should send this to my dad but I think I'll sell it. I don't know if he'd use it. It's a Columbia Sportswear size extra large. Um, PFG, so uh, PHG, performance hunting gear. PFG is their performance fishing gear, which my dad does really like. It's like a hunting, obviously like camo thing and it's like very meshed and aired out. I don't think he does a lot of hunting in the summer, so I'll probably just sell this. It's like a polo shirt almost. Um, yeah, I know hunt these things to be really expensive, hunting gear and stuff like that, so I thought I'd pick it up, and I do pretty well with men's performance gear. <laughs> uh, so this is Brooklyn Industries, which I don't know too much about. It's an extra small, but this is also camo. This is like a classic, more streetwear camo. And that's kind of why I picked it up. Camo's usually like always in style. I don't think this is an expensive jacket by any means. I don't know why I'm having such a hard time showing you. <laughs> but yeah, it's just like your classic like army jacket, but with camo. They were trying to sell it at Goodwill for 10 bucks and then gave it to the bins. So this I was originally very excited about and I just threw it in my cart. It was when I wasn't finding anything super great. It was 
um, a beta brand hoodie, which is what I only find apparently, are their hoodies, which I didn't even know they make. It's really lightweight. It's possibly could have even been linen. I don't know, but there are just in both sleeves, like the elbows are just busted through. So this is nothing, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, I still have yet to find their pants, which is what they're really known for. So I'm on the hunt for that. This has sort of picked up based on style. I know cold shoulder isn't really in anymore, but this is lush. Um, it's a size medium. I actually hate selling lush but I'm hoping the style will sell it. It actually has these cute like ruched parts there and a bit of a billowing um, sleeve, but I feel like statement sleeves are really in even if it's like a cold shoulder, so yeah. I don't know, hopefully it'll sell. I did pick up some kids stuff also, which again, I talk a lot about how you know, I only pick it up at the bins. I don't really know what sells. I have heard from people that kids clothes sell well, and I'm sure some of them totally do. I just, I don't, I'm not, I just don't know what those are, but I just pick up stuff that I think is just like too cute to leave behind. These are a pair of sweatpants and they have stars and moon and Saturn on them. They're just from Garanimals and they're a 4T, but they're just the cutest little sweatpants. So I had to pick those up. This I also picked up based on style. It says the brand is Supernova Extra Large. And I don't know if that's an offshoot of Fashion Nova or like off-brand Fashion Nova, which would be sad because Fashion Nova is already pretty cheap. But it's just a little cropped like rust orange jacket, very streetwear. Um, I thought it was cute. It's in good condition. They were trying to sell it at Goodwill for 10 bucks. This, I still need to look the brand up. I feel like I've heard of it before. It's called Naked Zebra and it is new with tags. Um, it's a size medium and it's just a tank top. It's a nice bright pink tank top with buttons. And then it has like this not front detail, which I don't feel like is in style anymore, but that's okay. I'll still try and sell it. I don't know what comps are. I'll have to look them up. But I thought that was cute. Good color. This is another pink item I picked up. This one's just a full zip hoodie. With the P and then it has the stripes. It's very soft and I was just really considering keeping it for myself. Because I don't have a full zip hoodie really that I could just like throw on. Um, it's a size large. This I didn't look up and I don't know if it's anything. But if not, I'll probably just keep it and wear it. It's just a brown basic t-shirt. It says the brand is Russ Brenz, Brenz, and it's from Malibu. I don't know, it looks like a good tag, but it could just be a little like boutique, like handmade thing that not many people know about. Maybe it's vintage. But yeah, just a basic brown tee. I didn't feel like looking it up while I was there and I knew I'd wear it if it was nothing. So these are a pair of Prana black long leggings. I don't know if I've sold Prana's leggings before and I don't think they do that size dot thing. So I might just need to measure these and guess what the size is, but that's the Prana logo. Oh, it's very faded, but this is a size large. They're in pretty good condition. They don't have a lot of pilling. Well, they have some wear to the crotch area. I'll just, I'll, I won't sell them for that much. <laughs> these are a pair of new label American Eagle jeans. These ones are women's. That's what the women's back pocket design looks like. These actually have some pink stains on them that I'm noticing now, but they're a cute like gray, black wash color, which for jeans that aren't blue is like, I do the best on, it's like a faded black. Um, they're a US size two short and they are really, short. When I picked them up, I thought they were kids, but I don't think they do kid stuff. Um, and they're the high rise dragon. Probably this for like 20. This, I saw a lot of LuLaRoe there. Probably should have passed on it because it is a size small. I do well with LuLaRoe when it's a plus size, 
but this was a really nice long line cardigan with pockets and a great classic color and it's very stretchy and comfortable this one's like all the way down to your ankles and it's in really great condition they were trying to sell it for ten dollars at goodwill for the fall i definitely think someone will pick that up and i got another for over 21 peas this one is a plus size um faux leather skirt it's a 2x and like faux leather right now or leather things in general are pretty trendy and i think for a plus size person it's probably harder to find trendier pieces so i will pick up things like forever 21 or cheaper brands from the bins that are plus size if they're trendy because those items are pretty hard to find so then i got this shirt again something i haven't looked i looked up a little bit i googled it and i think that it's sold at urban outfitters sometimes um, but it's called goody two sleeves and it's a 2x says it's 100 percent awesome awesome is 100 percent polyester <laughs> and it's just like a graphic tee kind of intense one it's a cat riding a llama with ufos in the background and i thought it was cute it's in really great condition doesn't feel like it's been worn i don't know comps could be like nothing but i thought i would try it out i just thought it was really funny uh so then i got this t-shirt and i'm not expecting to get a lot for this but i've never found this brand before and i really wanted to try it out i actually found a sweatshirt by this brand there but it was just so stained that i just left it behind it's calia um which is carrie underwood's brand hopefully you can see that's a clear tag that's her logo and that's what it's called and I'll say by Carrie Underwood if it's not too faded. It's a size large and it is just a plain striped tee. So I don't know how much that'll get me, but I really wanted to try it out. Oh, this is also my first time finding this brand and I really should get this listed. Pretty sure there was nothing wrong with it. This is also just sort of like a plain tee, but it does have a star print to so be very appropriate for the 4th of July. So I should really get this listed today um it's a rails which i've never found size large i know people really like to pick up their flannels and other things by them it's pretty expensive uh retail 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 this feels like linen it is 75 percent linen so that's nice and it's a good size so yeah i should really get this listed and for white i actually think it's in really good condition all right, and then I picked up this faux leather motorcycle jacket. There is some, I don't know if they're stains or they just need to be like wiped off. It's just a cute little motorcycle jacket. It's actually really soft. I'm pretty sure it's not real leather. It's from Hollister. I don't know if they do real leather stuff at Hollister. Uh, the tag on the inside is cut out, so I won't know what it is. But I thought, you know, a Hollister leather jacket, it's pretty trendy. Um, Hollister, I feel like, is making a bit of a comeback. Again, there's just, like, stuff on it. Yeah, I think I can just wipe that off and reshape it a little bit. So we shall see. Then I got this fluffy sort of, like, Aztec-esque print. I was really hoping it would be a Patagonia, but I haven't had that luck i don't think i've found a patagonia since i've been reselling like a cinchillo but this is old navy size medium and it's still really soft and really good condition i do think someone will pick this up for the print it's pretty cute it really stands out and it's not like matted yet which a lot of these can get so that was good and i found this t-shirt found a couple of graphic tees i want to pick up more graphic tees but being a little cautious about it. The reason I picked this up is it's because it's um, it says final checkout. It's really light, but it says ho the Hollywood Tower Hotel, which is the Tower of Terror ride in Disneyland. And it says Disney California Adventures, so it is the Disneyland version. And I picked it up because this ride actually isn't there anymore. It's now the Guardians of the Galaxy ride. It was a Disney Parks t-shirt, which means we can only get in the Disney Parks. It is a size extra large. Um, I don't know if this has any actual value being that it's not there anymore. 
I thought I had a year on it, but now I don't. Oh, 2017. So. I mean, it's definitely faded in a cute, like, little worn-in look. Uh, we shall see. If not, I think my sister would like it, so not the worst thing ever. Then I picked up this tea. Again, something I haven't seen before. The uh, brand is Vibes. It's a size large. And I like the back a lot. The front has a little alien on it. But then the back has like an astronaut in space. I don't think this is going to be worth very much. But again, I really just like graphic tees right now. And some of them can do pretty well. I did pick up a couple of these socks. They're probably not worth anything, but they are smart wool. Um, I picked up two pairs. I don't know if there's a market for used socks. I will wash them. Smart Wool is a good uh, wool brand. <laughs> I also got this Tommy Bahama size extra large. I don't usually pick up Tommy Bahama, but I will sometimes at the bins. I haven't actually had very good luck selling it. This is just a simple button up, lightweight, pretty color as the swordfish fish thing logo all right i'm almost done this was another kids piece this one's only from old navy but i really liked the little llama with the stars and this color i thought was really nice for the fall i did pick up a lot of fall stuff oh this one is winter this one i've never found it before it's baby bowden um and it's a little corduroy blue dress with little snowman on it so this is definitely something that's gonna sit for a while but hopefully in the winter it will sell this is another graphic tee i could not make out this brand whatsoever i don't even know if it has a brand on it i think it just says it's a size small but it is a star wars graphic and i liked it so i got it uh, it has stormtroopers coming off like an inflatable slide, like on an airplane, I guess, after their um, thing crashed. I don't know what you call those things. I know they have a name. Then I got some jeans. These are Joe's jeans. I actually now I'm not sure if these are women's or men's. Let's see. What's the size? This says waist 32. They're called the Brixton um, Straight and Narrow. So I'll have to look up that, but I do pretty well with Joe's jeans. I usually list them around 30 and then, you know, take offers and such. Then I got these Torrid jeans, which I was surprised were still there because they didn't, I checked the crotch and everything. They didn't have any wear. They're a good size. They're a 20 short. I don't know if these have a style on them. Feel the fit. The skinny, nice light wash blue jean and a great size and they even have like that butt detail on the back that some jeans do. Then I got a pair of Hollister jeans. Again in that black wash. These do have some pulling in the thigh. They're size 32 and they're the ultra high rise mom jean which is why I got them. Mom jeans still are pretty good. They're nice and stretchy. And then two more things, I believe. I got these pair of um, leggings. They're the flare leggings, I think is what the kids call them, but yoga pants as we millennials know them as. They are Lululemon and they're so old, they don't even have the size. Oh, just kidding, they do have a size dot. They have a size dot, they're a size four. Then they also have this thing that says um, I belong to and then mobile <laughs> so you can put your phone number in there um, but yeah they're size 4 older style but they do have that flare leg which I guess is pretty trendy so I won't list these for too too much maybe around 35 to 40 and then take offers we'll see we'll see how much people like them and then this is what I was most excited about I've never found this brand before and it was just like sitting on one of the bins when I walked over, so I was super excited. They're a pair of Gymshark leggings in this gray color, and they have the teal band. I know nothing about <laughs> Gymshark leggings. Like I said, I've never found it and I've never sold it. I don't know if there's a way to tell what size it is. If there is, let me know. It does have this little tag on the inside with their logo on it. 
but otherwise, I don't think it has any tabs. But yeah, if I had to guess, I think these are probably a size extra small. But yeah, super cute. And yeah, so I got all of that stuff for $37, which I think is great. Um, I definitely miss shopping at the bins and getting those great deals and keep my cost of goods down low. It always helps. Hopefully there's at least one thing in here that I can make $36 on. I don't know if that's the case. Sometimes it is, sometimes it isn't. But I think after just selling a couple of things, I will make my money back. So yeah, let me know if you guys have been to the bins recently, how it's been going for you. Let me know if these are brands you'd pick up or skip on even at the bins. That's totally a possibility. Um, I know if I'm not finding great stuff, I sort of just throw whatever into my bag because I get nervous. <laughs> so I don't want to leave empty handed. Um, that's kind of why I have the socks in my bag. But yeah. Let me know what you guys thought. Let me know how reselling has been for you guys. I know I've been, again, MIA for a while and not just with making videos, but watching videos and keeping up with you guys. Um, I've just, I've been sort of stepped back from it all. So it's nice to be back and talking to you guys. Hopefully my videos are coming out more regularly. Fingers crossed. My cat is now attacking my camera, so I must go. Wednesday wanted to say hi. Say hi. So I hope you guys have a great time sourcing and selling, and I will see you guys all in the next one. Bye!